my name is Lizzie. Each fortnight I'm bringing along a different fold, a different piece of origami and at the moment I'm very much thinking of lovely traditional folds from Japan and I thought that these have been passed on through the generations and crossing the world um, so I hope you're going to enjoy this. These films are all dedicated to my colleagues at UCH, a hospital in London, um, for staff and also for patients to encourage some time out for the mind and to focus on something else just with a little piece of paper and you'll find yourself completely focused and everything else will disappear. The wonderful thing is though these films are for everyone to use and we hope we hope you'll enjoy them and support us too. So yes, this is a really lovely fold and I'm thinking about actually how this is a cosy time of year so I'm wanting to get organised, make things that enclose on themselves. Um, this is something that's called a tato and it's a sort of traditional old fashioned kind of little envelope which you can keep things in. So not only does it look beautiful but it's almost like a sort of a flat box. Uh, you could have written something in there, put in a tiny little something. Uh, it could be to give as a present to someone or just for yourself. It feels like it could be a flower or maybe a little, uh, little wind sail. There's so many things it could be and there's no glue. It all just encloses in on itself. If you have paper of different colours on different sides, it can be quite fun. But um, I will show you just from white and I'll show you it with a little bit of colouring. So you could either have all of the colour down here on the main body of it we can just have a little tiny bit as well so it looks really lovely I think perfect for gifts as well as so much of Japanese culture is also about that giving and that sharing so I'm going to grab a board and I'm going to grab a piece of paper I have an A4 piece of paper but maybe uh, it doesn't matter what you have if it's letter or whatever paper you have A4 is a bit big so I'm first of all just going to fold it in half carefully lining up the corners and actually when you go nice and slowly it's much more relaxing and it just slows yourself down so I'm enjoying going slowly myself too and I'm doing a good strong fold because that also lets add a bit of tension and it all works very well if you give a good strong fold so first of all I'm going to do a little tiny nick put my hand close to the edge and it's just to show you, you don't need origami paper, any paper really will do. Or it could be a magazine or anything you found or maybe a scrap piece of paper or plain as I'm using. I'm going to take a corner and line it up. We're making first of all a square. Lots of origamis based on squares. They give a lot of potential. You can go in all sorts of directions with a square. I'm going to remove a rectangle. So taking this, turning it over and bringing this back. So I will show you a, maybe we could do a tiny bit of colouring in too. Let's see. I'm going to remove this rectangle. And the beauty of the films is you can use them whenever you want. And you can slow it down or you can repeat a step. So I have a square here with a diagonal line. I'm going to really briefly colour this. So if you'd like to have um, a mostly colourful envelope, then this is the colour that you're going to put here. So this side is where the main body of colour goes. But you could reverse it if you wanted just a tiny bit of colour. It's really up to you. Experiment. But just to show you, so you'll see a difference between the two sides. I'm just doing a very quick scribble there. Obviously you could do it much nicer. There we go. That's it. So with your piece of paper, I've done one diagonal line and if you do the other as well. So both diagonal lines. Right, so. There we go. So I'm opening it up and it's a bit like a fortune teller. I'm going to bring each of the corners into the middle. Very satisfying. I'm going to take your time, go nice and slowly. Be really exact. And again, it's just really good for your mind to focus on this one thing. Nothing else should be occupying your mind. Okay, in the top to the middle. So I see this as a tool for well-being, a tool to just get immersed just with a piece of paper. And just how that makes you feel, hopefully really good. <laughs> and also it comes with overcoming challenge. It's always a challenge to origami and to be brave, give yourself a bit of courage, give yourself a bit of kindness and learning something new. 
what we need to do all the time as well. There we go. So next I'm going to open this up. You can see all the little lines that we've got there. And now it's very simple. Each corner we're going to take, we're going to fold it up so it touches that line that we've made. So I'm going to fold this up to this point here. And I'm going to do that on each of the sides. There you go. So again, turning around to the next side. So again, taking this point and bringing it be nice and exact, like so. And on to your next one. I like this sort of circular motion that you're doing as well. Again, there's something about that rhythm of doing the same thing again, which is really nice. Up to the middle, that point. We're adding the decoration in this. Great, so hopefully it looks like this. Our next step again is quite simple. And it's taking each of these points and then folding them back up again. So taking this and then folding it back up again, like so. So I'm doing that with each of these. So taking this and folding it up there. And I hope that you're having a go, but if you're not, I hope you'll just enjoy watching and focusing and seeing how it emerges. Okay, the bottom up to that point. I think it, it's very controlled, but and I think that's exactly what sometimes what we need. When things aren't under our control, we feel a bit stressed. So the more we can do something that makes us feel, hey, we can make a little bit of calm, even if it's just a little piece of paper, it will help how you feel. And then you'll be able to deal with things that a little bit better, encouraging your persistence and resilience. So we've hopefully got a piece of paper like this. I hope yours is looking like this. So if we now turn it round to the back and we're going to take the top and we're going to bring it to the middle. So just simply folding it over and again, aiming, being nice and exact like so. I don't think mine's exact enough. So I'm going to look down at what I'm doing. I recommend as well that you do this on a solid surface. Again, enjoy taking your time. So there we go. And then onto the next side, same thing again. And you can see that lovely shape is appearing. In the middle. Next side, top to the middle line. Like so. And then the final, final edge, top to the middle. Now, with a lot of circular things, it's the very final step that's the tricky one. <laughs> so it feels like one has gone over the other, over the other, and that's really lovely. But this last bit needs to be able to tuck underneath this one. So you'll probably have to fiddle with this. I know it's a little bit hard to get your head around, but basically you need to get that last bit because the whole of this is, is over the top but each time you want just one side so this side needs to tuck underneath here so I'm going to open this up and tuck it under hopefully this will work because it always makes my head spin a bit too and you're going to have to slightly reposition that corner so it does go over oh there we go does it work maybe yes it has worked <laughs> taken me a while to get there so if you're finding it's taking you a little while to get the hang of that don't worry it's to be expected that's exactly what I found too so it was that final last flap that was all over and you needed to tuck it under that very final one so that each side is tucked under the other so you'll get that that's that's the only tricky step is that final tuck in but you can do it have a go tucking it in and then you have to slightly reform the corner but you will figure it out I hope you've managed to make your very own beautiful Tattoo. Thank you.